Amen. To God be the glory tonight. Just want to welcome everyone tonight that is online, those that are joining us for the first time and the second time in the name of Jesus. We give God thanks. Uh, amen. Welcome to Higher Ground Tabernacle Ministry tonight. Amen. I am Pastor Clive. We'll be teaching our Bible study in the name of Jesus. And I want us to, 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 uh, you know, preach with me, teach with me. Amen? And uh, for those of us can say amen, say amen as loud as possible because it's through our testimony we overcome. Amen? Uh, amen. To God be the glory. Amen. There's, there's just something about, in the, about the house of God. Amen? When we're in the house of God, there's just something about being in the house of God. Amen? When we're in the house of God, amen, we can we, we feel, this is just a different feeling. It's not the same as being uh, at home. No, it is, it is the anointing is here. We can feel the power of God. That doesn't mean you don't feel the anointing at home or the power of God at home. But when we're doing Bible study, amen, we can f definitely be a part of what God is doing. Amen? Amen. To God be the glory. If you're online and you want to go ahead and just for one minute just stop and just share this broadcast tonight, amen, share the, 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 the YouTube link tonight, you can please do so, invite a friend, invite a family member to join us in Bible study tonight, amen, where we're going to be dealing with how does one increase their faith. In this time that we're living in, we need our faith to be increased. I'm not hearing you. In the time that we're living in, we need our faith to be increased. Amen? We need our faith to be increased. Can somebody say that? We need our faith to be increased. Amen? So tonight we are praying and trusting God for an increase of faith tonight. Amen? In the mighty name of Jesus. So the question is tonight, how does one increase their faith? How does one increase? How does one increase their faith? How? Can anybody tell me? How does somebody increase their faith? Amen. By, by being in the word. Amen. Amen. And that means be in the word of God. Be in the word, be in the presence of God. When you're in the presence of God, you're reading the word of God. Yes? Prayer daily. Right? Amen? Christian walk is not easy. It takes a person who with a made up mind. The writer said, my mind is made up. Amen? And I won't turn back. Come on, somebody. So your mind has to be made up to follow Jesus. Amen? Amen? So how does one increase their faith? Amen? We would want to first start it and start it out tonight by addressing what is faith. What is faith? The Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews chapter 1 through to 3, that now faith is the substance. Hebrews 11 verse 1 through to 3. Amen? So remember, uh, Sister Oshane says that all those want to increase their faith is by reading the word, right? By being in the word, right? Someone says by prayer, right? Amen. So it says, Hebrews chapter one, um, 11, verse 1 to 3. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Hoped for. Yeah? The evidence of things not seen. So I don't see it. 
I don't see my house yet. I don't see my dream car yet. Some ladies will say, I don't see my husband yet. I don't see my wife yet. Come on, somebody. Don't ever say, oh, you know, somebody come in and say, are you married? It's not on my mind. No, no, no. no, no. Say so just, not yet. Amen. Not, somebody say, not yet. I'm not driving my car yet. I'm not living in my, my, my home yet. Amen. I'm not in that position at work yet. Amen? I don't have my first million dollar yet. <laughs> Amen? So, faith is a substance of things hoped for. My hope is that I will get that home, that car. My hope is that I will receive that husband, that handsome young man. Don't, don't Listen, when you're praying for God, say, God, whatever you give me. No, 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 God. Can you know some? God, I need somebody who have six pack, eh? I only have one pack, so. <laughs> I only have one pack, eh? So, God, I want the best. Come on, somebody. What is your hope? Eh? What are you hoping for? Because faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things, you don't see it. And it, it, it brings my mind now to a place, Elder, where it's like a, 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 a lady that is expecting a baby. Amen? She don't know what the gender of the child is. And he says, I'm hoping it is a boy. Amen? Amen? I am hoping it is a boy. The expectation. Amen? And now, your expectation, regardless if it's a boy or a girl, a baby is there. Come on, somebody. Amen? You don't see the child yet, but you know it's there. Mm. The evidence of things not seen. Nine months later, you will see it. <laughs> Amen? It says, for by it, what? It, faith, the elder obtain a good report. Through faith, we understand that the world were what? Framed by the word of God. So that things which are not seen were not made of things which do appear. Amen. So it, 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 there's nothing there. And we believe that God say, let there be. So I don't see it yet. But I can say to the thing that I want. And call it into existence. You know, today I was reminiscing, um, Elder, and what I was saying to myself is that faith is very funny. And I was saying to you this morning, I think I get cut off. In 2017, we met. And after meeting, you know, we connect. And then life goes on. We, not sit on, we never sit on the phone and talk. Look how life funny. Right? And then a year later or so, we come again and we meet each other again. And then a late, year later again and so forth and so on, you're here. Huh? And faith tells you that one, you said to me, one day I'll be there. That's what you said to me, I remember that. One day I'll be in Canada. Faith. Amen. You have to tell yourself, one day I'm going to. Whatever it is, if you're passing through something, one day I'm, com I'm coming out, I'll, I'm coming out, I'm coming out, I'm coming out, I'm coming out, I believe in God, I'm coming out, I ain't staying here, I'm, I'm not, uh, not going to be like this forever. I'm, somebody shout, I'm coming out. Whatever it is that the enemy have a grip upon your life, 
Whether it's a financial blessing and he's holding you hostage because there are times that the enemy, oh Lord. Remember, Daniel prayed, um, Elder. And when he prayed, come on, give a testimony. Go ahead. <laughs> bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, everyone. Bless the Lord. I'm just giving God thanks. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, my wife recently gave birth. My wife recently gave birth to our third daughter. Amen. And uh, during the pregnancy, um, she went to the doctor after doing an ultrasound, and they said that there was something wrong. Yes. And they recommended us to go to the clinic. And when they hooked us up on the clinic, we went to the clinic, and uh, when they did the ultrasound, and uh, they were checking, they checked for more than three hours. And then they told us, took us in our room nicely, and told us that the baby has only one kidney. Uh -huh. And even after the main doctor came, because there were so much consultants there, she did another check, and she said that not even tissue is seen. So the baby will definitely have one kidney. And I, and, and I sat down, and I, I said to the doctor, I said, I know you might not understand, but the next time I do that ultrasound, you are going to see that kidney. But you know what's funny? Even before that, there was a day I had a vision. And I called my wife and I said, uh, babes, I don't understand. I have a vision and it looks like the fetus is separating. And I just could not put it together. So after that ultrasound, I'm th we're talking about faith. Yes. And I looked the doctor in the eyes and I said, the next time we do it, and I took the prayer request, we prayed online and I sent it to prayer groups and we prayed. And we did, uh, I sent the message in the intercessory group as well, Rev. We did an ultrasound a couple of weeks ago. When we did this ultrasound, uh -huh. uh, they said that uh, there's only the right kidney. It's functioning correctly. Um, there's some evidence of some things. They don't know what that is. Still not saying there's even signs of tissue. But they don't want to say anything. Today, mm -hmm. she did Another ultrasound. And when they spoke to us, they said that the right kidney is looking good. It's functioning correctly. But there is a left kidney located separately, which is the same size as the right kidney. I, I took the little baby in my hand and I said, my daughter. To God be the glory. Next time I need to be specific and tell God I want it to be right beside the next one. So, so faith, when things happen, Rev, we have to speak by faith. They checked for over three hours. Nothing. The next one, there was something that could be. And then, when they did it this morning, there was a full-size kidney. Who, how could they have missed a full-size kidney? My God. It's just God. Faith. Faith. Amen. 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 Substance of things. Oh, for the evidence of things. They didn't see it, but it's there. Ah, come on, put your hands together and give God a praise. I feel like prophesy. Whatever is lost in your life, whatever has been misplaced, you shall find it. Ah, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. So we should have learned that not only faith is a substance of things so far, but the evidence of things not seen. Before I go further, I feel like I want, us to, I, want us, I, want, I want us to understand something. Elder, I want us to understand something. We need to understand when we read in the Bible, the Bible 
that we call the Word of God is really what help us to know who God is. The Bible says that, uh, I believe in Luke 24, when Jesus met them on the way going to Emmaus, he, 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 he expounded unto them and he opened their understanding. And he says, what all the scripture, open their understanding, for all, what all the scripture has written about him. So the scripture are there to testify of who Jesus is. So we need to understand when we are reading the scripture, it is the testimony of Jesus. Amen? The Bible is there to reveal God to us. And in our prior life, we're asking God to reveal himself. And by the reading of his word, God will come alive to us and we'll see God in his fullness. Are you hearing me, somebody? Amen, amen. The word of God now, what we need to understand is that, please don't stone me. The word of God is not, where's the physical Bible that we say we have? We have the Bible and we say the word of God is the Bible. But the word of God is not the Bible. The word of God is the testimony of Jesus. The word of God is Jesus himself. Please listen to me. Don't stone me yet. The word of God is who? The word of God is a person. Say the word of God is a person. You want me to prove it? In the beginning was the No, the big, big it was the it was the Bible. Was it the Bible? It was the word. And the word was with and the word was so the word of God is a person. Somebody find the, find uh, Revelation 19, please. Let's read from the Bible. Let's read Bible. Because we need to understand when we are intimate with Jesus. Amen? You are walking with the word. You're talking with the word. Amen? Verse 6 or so, where, where, where are we? Revelation 19, verse 6. Read. And, and I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude. And as a voice of many waters, uh -huh. and as a voice of mighty thunderings, yes. saying, uh -huh. Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Hang on, hang on, Elder. I want everybody to find it, because it only even says I tell you something that's not in the Bible. Find it, please. Okay, it's on the board. If you don't have it, look on the board. Amen? Amen. Let's go. Next verse. And I heard, as it were, the voice, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Verse 6. And I heard, as it was, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Amen. Uh -huh. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and Let's his give. wife has made herself ready. Amen? Amen. Let's jump down to verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. For Hold the on. testimony. Hold on. So the brethren have the what? Testimony. What is the testimony? Testimony of Jesus. The word that we read is a testimony. Amen. So when, someone, when the devil comes to you, you testify and says, it is written. Amen. Amen. That's a testimony. You testify. You, take, you, you say of the goodness. You talk about what he has done. Amen? Amen. So, the, so, so, so we have the testimony of Jesus. 
Amen. Let's look on now. Keep going. Uh, verse 10. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren and have the testimony of Jesus. Uh -huh. Worship God for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. For the what? The testimony, testimony of Jesus is, is the spirit, spirit of, of prophecy. prophecy. Do we get that? Amen. Amen. Verse 11. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Uh -huh. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Yes. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Yes. And his name is called the Word of God. What's his name? The Word of God. Hallelujah. That's why I want you to build a relationship with him. Amen. And don't fall in relationship with church. Amen. If you fall in love with church and you don't have no relationship with God, you will leave. Amen. A lot of people who can read Bible but they don't have God. A lot of persons fall in love with church, but they do not have relationship. So the least little thing somebody say, they're gone. Amen? But when you have the word, which is Jesus, amen, amen. Christ in you. Ooh. Hallelujah. So the more I read about him, the more I love him. It's the more you feel him. Are you hearing me, somebody? It's the more the anointed. I'm not hearing you tonight. Oh, God, God Almighty. The more you read and the more you study, it's the more you get to know him because the word is the, 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 the word is teaching you now and Jesus is now on the inside of you and all you can feel is the Holy Ghost just boiling up. The Bible says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Amen? Nobody have to tell you to love him. It will come naturally because he is the word of God. He says it, verse, verse 13. And he was, and he was clothed with a vesta, dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Amen? So when you read in your Bible next time, I'm reading, I want to know him. I want to know him. I want to get closer to him. Amen? But I already have the word. Because Jesus is the word. Because in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same that was in the beginning with God. And all things were made by him. And without him there was nothing made. That was made. I'm not hearing you tonight somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Bible is the testimony of Jesus that testify of him. Come on somebody. Amen. So we are, we are, we are talking about, amen, oh, faith is the substance of things of hope for, the evidence of things not seen, so forth and so on, right? Um, um, so now we, we shall learn, tonight we're going to learn, we learn that not only the, it is the substance of things hope for, amen, but it is the evidence of things not seen. So also, we should have learned tonight that the elders obtain a good report by having faith. Amen? So if the elders also have obtained a good report by having faith, so shall we obtain a good report by having faith. Amen. By having faith. Amen. 
Amen. If they have a good report, we also, amen, shall have the same faith, the same report that God will look at you and say, because of your faith, are you hearing me, somebody, thy faith have made you whole. Are you hearing me, somebody? The centurion said to Jesus, God, you don't have to come under my roof, but just speak a word. Jesus said unto him, oh, I've never seen such great faith. No, not in Israel. Are you hearing me, somebody? Are you hearing me? The man believed that Jesus can speak a word. Hmm? We too need to exercise our faith. We also learn that faith, we um, must, amen, when we have faith, it is, it is impossible. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. And we must understand that our life must please him. Amen. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. And I want my life, listen what David says, oh Lord, when my ways pleases God, even my very enemies, are oh, you hear me tonight, somebody? Hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't care who the enemy is. I hear me somebody. There will be a peace. Amen? Amen. So the, the, the dictionary tells us uh, the definition of faith. Amen? Complete trust. Somebody say complete trust. You're putting your trust in a God that you can't see. Glory to God. Amen? Complete trust. Do you know that every one of us have faith? Every one of us have faith. To sit down in this chair, you have faith. To sit down in the chair, you have faith. How do you know the chair is going to hold you up? <laughs> Amen? Sometimes I'm wondering why I don't like flying. I don't have faith in the pilot. <laughs> But I have trust in God. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen? When somebody have an old vehicle, they don't trust it, so they're not going to drive it out of the city. I won't take this old vehicle to Calgary. <laughs> but when you have a new vehicle, you're like, let's go to Toronto. Three days, we know it's going to take us. Amen? Amen? That completely trust. You trust that that vehicle will take you from here to there. Amen? So, when you're talking about a God, you have to put full, completely trust. Amen? I don't see it, but I'm, I'm trusting your God. I don't understand it, but I'm, I am trusting your God. Amen? I wake up uh, a couple of morning, either yesterday or today, I don't remember. And when I roll out of the bed like this to get down to pray, uh, the Holy Spirit started to say, what about this? What about this? What about this? I said, oh, that's a good point, Lord. I said, call the engineer and ask him about this and this. I said, oh, I wasn't, I wasn't even thinking about it. And I call him at the same, as I couldn't wait for 8 o'clock. I didn't want to call the man at 6 o'clock in the morning to ask him, uh, Sister um, Jamil. But as soon as 8 o'clock come, I called him. I said, Clive, I wasn't even thinking. That's why it's important that it, you are in tune with God. Are you hearing me? That things that you would miss, God will bring it to your memory. Are you hearing me, somebody? Can I go further? Can I just talk to you? Nothing should take you by surprise. You know why? Nothing take God by surprise. Oh Lord, I can't hear you tonight. I said nothing take God by surprise. So how is it that we are so surprised when things happen? 
God, I need you to speak to me. Why? Because if you have the eternal God who see the hand before the beginning and he's on the inside of you, my God Almighty, hallelujah, you're not hearing me, somebody. I don't want nothing to take me by surprise. I want God to show me, uh, reveal to me. Are you hearing me, somebody? That's the faith that I have in him. The Bible said this is the confidence that we have in him. That we know when we pray, he hear it up. Hallelujah. So when the engineer asked me, he said, why did, I wasn't even thinking about this. But that's how God works. Amen? That's how God works. He will speak to you. He will give you dreams and vision. Closed dreams. Open dreams. Amen? Closed vision, open vision. Maybe what is the same? What is the difference? You'll be sleeping and God will tap into your sleep. Hello? And you dream a dream. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be driving or walking or be on the bus. And God starts to speak to you and you're like, you're seeing the whole thing playing out right in front of you. You're not sleeping. But sometimes we brush them off. Oh, No, 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 no. When my mind starts to talk about some things, I'm questioning myself. I say, okay, God, what do you want me to do with this information? What's happening right now with this information? I, I, and I'm seeing, I'm in a different realm. I'm seeing some things that happening, Sister Shamil. And I start to move things around. You're not hearing me. Oh, God, hallelujah. God will allow you to be in the spirit so that you can move things in the spirit. Are you hearing me, somebody? Because we are spiritual beings. Are you hearing me, somebody? You, you, you got to tap into your spirit. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm crazy. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm just tapping into my spirit about right now? I, I, I'm believing God for something. And I'm tapping into it right now. And I'm getting an increase. I'm saying to God, I'm moved. Oh, you're not understanding tonight. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. You've got to tap into your spirit. You've got to, listen to me, you, 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 you're just not flesh. Just, you, you're a spiritual being. And you've got to use your faith in God. And you've got to say, listen, I'm coming out of this situation. I'm getting out of this circumstances. I'm, somebody shout, I'm going higher. I'm going higher in the name of Jesus. I'm tired of staying down here. I'm tired of just being at Lodi Bar. Come on, somebody. Oh, I'm going higher. Somebody shout, I'm going higher. Don't let the enemy put a noose around you and restrict you. The children of Israel was in bondage. And God said, I've heard their cry. And I am come to deliver them. That's God speaking. But the enemy spoke to Pharaoh. I said, Pharaoh, don't let them go. I'm not hearing it tonight. Hallelujah. The devil is saying, don't let go her. Don't let go him. Oh, let's keep them in bondage. But somebody say, enough is enough. Somebody shout, enough is enough. I am coming out. Amen. Your word will create your world. Help me now, help me, help me, help me. I said the, your words will create your world. What words you use, that's the world you live in. So if you want to live in a negative world, speak negative. Oh, God Almighty. If you want to live in a positive world, speak positive. Are you hearing me, somebody? See yourself come out of that situation. See yourself out. Somebody shout, out! Hallelujah. 
You see, because of your prayer at your workplace that they're fighting you. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. They want your position. I said, they want your position. They, so what the enemy does, can I prophesy? What is for you is for you. And the enemy can't take what is for you. And listen, if they take your job, God will give you a... Amen. So what the enemy does, hallelujah, you want to have more babies. But you're afraid because you don't want to lose your position. So the enemy cripples you. But when you open up your mouth and says, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. When you open your mouth, Jesus says, the word that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. Are you hearing me? Because you have the word of God on the inside of you. Remember I says the Bible is not the word of God. The Bible is the testimony of Jesus. The word of God is Jesus because in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word is God. So now the word is on the inside of you and when you speak that word come alive. I'm not hearing you somebody. And when the word came alive the word is doing something in your life. And you walk the word, you talk the word, you live the word. Are you hearing somebody? Hallelujah. So you have, so the word of God is a person. Are you hearing somebody? It's a person. The Bible is the testimony. Amen. So, can I go a little bit deeper? Lord, help me. Why am I going off here? So Shane, let me tell you something. When you say you receive Jesus, don't say, oh, I receive him in my heart. Don't conform Jesus to your heart. Jesus is in my head. He's in my hands. He's in my, he's in my feet. He's all over me. Are you hearing me? Somebody is every square inch of my body that if I lift my hands, God lift his hands. When I step, God step. Are you hearing me? Somebody, wherever I go, God go with me. For thou art with me. Yeah, man. When you lay hands on somebody, just envision Jesus just lay his hands. Marco Shire. Are you hearing me, somebody? Because it's not just, no, when, you, when you limit God to just a box, he's in my heart. Mm, little, 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 you know, he's in, a, he's, he's in a manger when Christmas come. My God Almighty. No, 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 no. Christ in me. The hope of glory. I want our faith to be increased. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. God spoke to me when he spoke to me. And he said something to me and I says, God, if this is not you, I don't want to have this feeling and anything. And he says, God said to me, there's some things I'm talking parables. Some person may understand what I'm saying. And I know we're online, so I'm speaking in parable. And, and he said to me, when he said the thing to me, the thing should have troubled me. And God looked at me and says, son, what I just said to you, did it trouble you? I said, not at all. Somebody said, not at all. When you get bad news, somebody shout, not at all. 
don't let it affect you because you have a greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. Are you hearing me, somebody? I stop by to tell somebody tonight that the God that you serve can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you will ask or think of. Amen. Woo. The problem that we have in the church is that we have fallen in love with buildings and not in love with Jesus. We fall in love, some person fall in love in reading the Bible but not re- not having Jesus. Amen. Amen. When you can understand that the word of God is on the inside of you and what feeds that is the Bible. As you would eat McDonald's and feed your flesh, when you're eating the word, amen, you're feeding the word. And the word now becomes flesh. The word becomes life. The word word starts to do something. When you speak, amen, the word does something to your situation. Amen? Amen? Amen. Praise be to God. That's why things don't take us by surprise. Why? Because the God that is on the inside of you, he see the end before the beginning. So when he see the end before the beginning and he's on the inside of you, he will prepare you for what's happening tomorrow. Amen? You will go to your bed and something just comes up. And you're saying, mm, can I talk to somebody? Hallelujah. Sister O'Shane is here. We were here one year. And I was here. We were, I don't know if I was preaching. I don't know what was happening. What was happening, Sister O'Shane, that night? We were here and we stepped into the future. Am I speaking? Yeah. Step into the future. Saw an accident. I'm not hearing you. Was I preaching? So I was preaching. Step into our future. And I saw an accident. It came, I wasn't sleeping. I was right here, wide awake. In the height of the preaching. God say, mm, somebody's going to trouble. Uh, and there's going to be an accident. The devil is about to take this one out. And when I look at the accident, the little car, I saw a little white car. It was going to be crumbled up. And I saw it, and God said, you can reverse it now. Amen. You're not hearing me, somebody. And I, and I step into the future, and I remove the car out of the accident. I'm not hearing you, somebody. The God that we serve will make, allow you to step into your future. Open up some doors. Are you hearing me, somebody? And whatever you open on earth shall be open in heaven. Because whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. I stop by to tell somebody your words. Create your world. I said, who's traveling? So she, uh, she said, oh, Shane, I saw an accident right now in Thunder Bay. Who's going to Thunder Bay? Uh-huh. Come on, let me testify. Get out the mic. Let you testify. Let you testify. Because, listen, we're talking about that. This is what's going to increase faith. Amen. Hallelujah. By the testimony. Hallelujah. So what happened on that night, Sister O'Shane? You were preaching one Sunday, and you said, um, who is going to Thunder Bay? You saw an accident in Thunder Bay. And I put up my hand and said, I am going through Thunder Bay to go to Toronto. And you said, um... I see a white car. My son was here because we came for um, priors because we were going to journey the Friday. This was the Sunday. And you said a white car. And I, I said, my son drive a white car. That's what we're going to drive. And you said, I see an accident. Then you said, let's pray. And the whole church starts to pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Got to Thunder Bay. 
got to Thunder Bay that January. We left Edmonton the Friday, the Saturday morning about 9, 10 a.m. We got through Thunder Bay. Driving the white car, we came up on a bank in the snow. Now, this snow can't cause accident. I've been a driver since the age of 16, and I'm past 16 more than double times already. And when we came on that snow, there was a trailer coming. And that snow went to push me out into the trailer. And I remember what Pastor Clive said. And I said, Jesus, and my two hands hold the wheel and ride the snow straight away. That when the trailer passed, he honked me because he saw me coming. But because I said, Jesus, and hold the wheel, I remember that they did pray for me. This is not me. And hold it. And we are here. We're here. Come Thank on, you, Jesus. somebody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I do not profess to be a prophet. Never did. I don't profess to be a prophet. <laughs> Amen? But I know I see God. I know I've seen things. Amen? I know I see things. Some things I see I can't say. Amen? All I saw was a sign that says, Welcome to Thunder Bay. And I says, Then I saw this trailer. And I saw this white car. I saw it fold up. And I went, and God says, In the spirit, pull it back out. You not hear me, somebody. And I went in the spirit. And I, listen, I'm a mechanic, you know. My God, the God that we serve is a mechanic. Amen. You're not hearing me, somebody. In the spirit, I took the car from under the wheel of the accident. I straightened it back out. My God Almighty, I'm not hearing you, somebody. It was like a movie. And I stepped into the future, saw the accident. Saw the crushing of the car. I said, nobody can live like this. And when I realized what was happening, I said, mm -mm, this can't happen. I stepped back out of the future into time and called back the car into time. You're not hearing me, somebody. Hallelujah. God is about to do something. Yeah, you're not hearing me, somebody. You're not hearing me, somebody. God is about to do something in your life. He's about to go into your future. He's going to somebody shout approve. Somebody shout approve. Somebody shout approve. Whatever you're, mm, you're not hearing me tonight. You're not hearing me tonight. I'm saying somebody need to shout approve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have to step in your future. Such a meal. And I want you to work with me now. Work with me now. I want you to sit upstairs of that building. I said, I want you to sit in the building. I said, I want you to sit in the building. I want you to see the things that we share. That what you want to see happen come to pass. Oh, you got to create it in your world. And allow God to bring what you've seen in your vision into reality. Somebody shout in reality. Whatever you can see in the spirit, it will come to reality. Somebody say it will come to reality. Whatever you see in your spirit will come to reality. Woo! Hallelujah. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm sending you guys crazy. But I, I, I'm saying that the God that we serve, amen, who is able to do the exceedingly, the abundantly, the above all, the things that you could ask 
or think of. Oh, just think it, just think it, just think it, just think it. Come on, sister O'Shane, just think it, just think it. Say, so by next year, this time. Oh, right now as I'm preaching, as I'm teaching, I want whatever you believe in God for, I want you to step into next year, 2024. And I want you, everything that you're thinking about, oh, whatever you're asking God for, whatever you believe in God for, so by next year, this time, it must, whatever, right now, right now, right now, by next year, this time, it must come to pass. Lord, by next year, this time. Somebody said, by next year, this time. Somebody said, by next year, this time. I release, I release it now. In the name of Jesus. I'm stepping in your next year. I'm not hearing you to, to tonight. I'm stepping in your tomorrow. And I'm commanding whatever God has for you. In the name of Jesus. You see, you have to step into your future because the God that we, that we serve lives in your future. Amen? Amen? Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. I want you to understand that the God that we serve lives in eternity. Stop limit God from living in heaven. Oh, God live in heaven. Who say so? We are limiting God. Who say God live in heaven? That's where God live? So as I tell you, God don't live in heaven. If you say God live in heaven, I want you to explain to me, in the beginning, God creates the heaven and the earth. So where was he before? He created heaven and earth. Where he said, I am the Lord. I change it not. Where he was, there he is today. God, Jesus, when he resurrected, he went far above principalities and power. I'm not hearing you, somebody. He's in eternity. Are you hearing somebody? He's and whatever happened in eternity goes on forever. So I want to be in eternity. I'm not hearing this. somebody. I, in my prior life, in my prior closet, I want to be where Jesus is. Are you hearing somebody? So my spirit now enter into the heavenlies, into the eternity where God is. And I begin to pray where God is. And I start to call out some things from where I am in the spirit. And it must happen. Why? Because I step, I step into a place of eternity. And I start to talk into time. And whatever happened in eternity, it must must come through and it's going to come through and it's going to stay forever because whatever is in eternity can't die my vision can't die my dream can't die my, you're not hearing me somebody it must come to pass somebody show come to pass must come to pass. Whatever you want in your life, it must come to pass. Amen. Though it tarries, I'm not hearing you tonight. Hallelujah. 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 I wish if someone just grab it in the atmosphere. Whatever you believe, just grabs it and pull it to yourself. In the name of Jesus. Somebody grabs it. Grab your blessing. Grab your blessing. Grab your breakthrough. Grab your deliverance. I'm not hearing it tonight. In the name of Jesus. 
church have lost its power. You know that type of power it lost? The, the, you know, we're so so-called, say we're Christians. But the Christians of the Bible saw results. We are, we, 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 I don't want to be a counterfeit. A counterfeit, that means the real thing is there. If you see the shadow, the real thing is there. I don't want to be a counterfeit Christian. Talking about healing. Talking about deliverance. Talking about breakthrough. I want to see it in my life. I want, you not hear me, somebody. I need to see people get healed. Somebody get delivered. Somebody get breakthrough. When you come into the house of God, this is a hospital. Oh, God Almighty, I will not leave the same way I came. I came in broken, but I'm leaving healed. I'm leaving delivered. I'm leaving set free by the power of the Holy Ghost. I stop by to tell somebody, I'm receiving my deliverance. I'm receiving my breakthrough. I'm receiving what God has for me. And what God has for me, it is for me. By the power of Jehovah God. 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 Allow God to be God in your life. Allow God to be God in your life. Open up your mouth. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your breakthrough by the power The reason why, the reason why we are not receiving because we have not seen the glory. We have not seen the glory. God say, you are free. Fear us say, you're not free. And we are still at the place where you were. For the last 400 years. But I come by to tell you. Higher ground we are going higher. I'm not hearing you somebody. We are going higher. Somebody showed higher. Somebody showed higher. Somebody showed higher. Ah, get, Listen. We have to get rid of the status quo. Forget how we look. Are you hearing me somebody? But we want to see the glory of God. We want to experience the glory of God. Amen. Amen. We sing about the glory. We talk about the glory. But we have not yet experienced the glory. I come by to tell somebody Ah, that greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. I stop by to tell somebody that the power of God is in this place. The anointing of God is in this place. I come by to tell somebody that greater. Somebody shout greater. Greater. God is saying to me right now, take me out of your box. We have seen it, the glory of God. Can I talk to you? Bible said they mash up in us, so might as well let us go with it. The glory of God can be seen. Eh? The glory of God can be seen. For those that are taking notes, write that down. Amen. I said the glory of God can be
be seen. Jesus came to Lazarus' grave. And they limit God, Jesus. He's the God of the past. And Jesus said, oh, if you were here, God of the past. Do you know that I'm, he's the God of the past, the present, and the future? He's not the God of just the past. I stop by to tell somebody, release him out of the box. Oh, God Almighty, are you hearing me? Somebody. So they ask a question. They say, Jesus, if you were here, our brother wouldn't die. Jesus said to them, didn't I tell you? Somebody say, I tell you. Somebody, I tell you. 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 you, you listen, what, what he's telling them is that you not only may see it, but you shall see the glory. My God Almighty. If you believe, you will see the glory. Are you hearing me, somebody? If you believe in what God is doing right now in your life, you will see the power. You will see the glory of God. The glory of God will manifest in your life. My God Almighty, your very shadow will have power. Somebody showed power because the glory of God that is inside of you, that you believe God, it will Oh, God Almighty, uh, it will come out. Uh, it will shine. Uh, are you hearing me, somebody? I'm tired of Christian acting like Christian. Everybody becomes a movie star. Bunch of actors. No fruit. Bunch of actors. They are Christian on Sunday. But they live, they live any and how. They love God on Sunday. But they have a little boyfriend on the side of the road on Monday. I'm not hearing you tonight. They swear and curse all kind of words. And said, oh Jesus is still working on me to make me what I want to be. If he takes six days to make heaven and earth, how long is he going to work on you? Can I talk to somebody? Oh God, he has the power to look at sin and say sin. I will put away sin forever. For this cause I've come into the world ah, that I may destroy the works of the enemy. I come back to tell somebody that the works of Satan is being destroyed tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Help me tonight somebody said destroy, destroy by the power of the Holy Ghost. We are not seeing the glory of God because we are washy-washy Christians. We live any and anyhow. We do any and anything. And we have no conscience of doing it. And still come to church. And we still pray. And we still say, oh, I'm a Christian. God understand. You, you listen to me. Oh, God Almighty. The Bible let us know that there is a place called hell. My God, is it a turn or your burn? You got to turn your life over. The things that I used to do, I don't do them no more. The place I used to go, I don't go there no more. Oh, God Almighty tonight. How can the clean and the unclean in the same place? become so formal and we get so satisfied elder with a little pinch of the glory are you hearing me we get so satisfied with the pinch of his glory that's why David is a man 
after God owns heart. Because Saul reigned on the throne for 30 odd years, 40, 40 something years. And while he was there for two years, he was doing what he needed to do. But God left him. And he didn't have the desire to get back the glory of God back in Israel. How many of us, I'm, I want to see the glory of God in the church. I'm sick of seeing the same thing over and over and over again. People, it, it's just boring. I want to see sick heal. I want to see, I'm not hearing somebody. Oh, God Almighty, are you hearing somebody? God of the ability. The Bible said there was a man called Elisha. And Elisha died. And when he died, he was buried. And while he was buried, there was a war going on. And they were running from the enemy. And while they were running from the enemy, the man dropped, not hear me, somebody. They had a dead man. And they dropped the man in the, pul in the sepulcher of the prophet. And the dead man, the bone of the dead prophet uh, that have the anointing. Uh, and then the anointing of God uh, was just on the outside. Uh, Elisha didn't have God uh, on the inner uh, me Somebody. Uh, it was the glory that came over him. Uh, and his very bones uh, was anointed. Uh, how much more us uh, that is the carrier uh, of the word of God. Uh, who is the carrier uh, of the glory of God. Uh, who is the carrier. Uh, I'm not hearing you tonight. Uh, and the Bible said the dead man uh, came back to life. Uh, Oh God, how many people have you affected in your lifetime? How many people have your life affected? My God Almighty, we must be touched. Are you hearing me, somebody? Are you hearing me, somebody? People must be touched by your life. By your life, your sister must touch. Your brother must touch. Your mother must touch. Somebody say touch, touch, touch. Somebody shall touch by the power of the Holy Ghost. So I'm sick. I'm tired. And when you're trying to be different, they says, oh, you're going like you're so spiritual. What is he trying? What is he proving? I don't know why I'm talking to you. Why am I talking to you? <laughs> because you're connecting. Because you're sick of the same thing. Sick of coming to church. Nobody not care. Nobody. Let me speak proper English. <laughs> Behave yourself, Clive. Amen. We just come. And nobody getting healed. Nobody getting delivered. Nobody's getting set free. Amen. The Bible said, Jesus said, for this cause I've came into the world. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. And everybody's talking about one go to heaven. I want to experience heaven and earth. Amen. I want to experience. Don't tell me about no heaven when I can experience heaven and earth. When, when, listen, when I close my eyes, I will not die because I'm not living to die. I'm moving from life to life. I am come that they may have life and have life more abundantly. Somebody shout abundant life. So when I die, when I sleep, when I close my eyes and move on to glory and move from life to life. If any man, you're not hearing me, somebody, Jesus says, every man believe in me, they shall not die. Oh, God Almighty, I'm not hearing this tonight. But they shall have eternal life. So when you die, when you close your eyes, when you sleep, you, you're not going to die. You're going to move from life to life. Amen. What a transition. What a transition. This mortal shall put on 
immortality in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. Oh, I'm not hearing you. Somebody. That's why I serve God here to the fullest of my ability. Christians are afraid of dying. Christians are afraid of dying. Hello? You could fix it up, pad it up, fill it up, sil silicone it up. You're going to die. But if you believe like I do, Jesus tell them, if a man believe in me, he shall never see death. Hello? Amen? If you believe in Jesus, you'll never see death. I said the apostles, the disciples, they have seen the hand of God. And we have seen how God moved in their life. Amen? And they have left us with a legacy that we can pattern. Amen? Jesus didn't die and all of them died. No. Peter and John. Come on, somebody. Went up to the synagogue to pray. Man sit at the gate. Begging. Said, silver and gold. Have I none? We're in a place where this place is filled of drug addicts. They're broken. But silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus. The Bible said that the man, he gave them the right hand. The man leap up. The man walk. Amen. 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 Their very shadow healed. Amen. Their words create their world. Because he said, greater is he that is in them. Remember Jesus said in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, and he shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. You shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea, in oh God Almighty, and in Samaria, and throughout the whole uttermost part of the earth. Are you hearing somebody? That means Canada. That means America. That wherever you are, you are an ambassador for God. Are you hearing me? And an ambassador for God. I stop by to tell somebody, stir up your pure faith. Uh, that you need to rock your mind and shake your spirit and says, I'm going to be more than just a Christian. I will be, hallelujah, a carrier of this great gospel, of this great God. Amen. Two points and I'm going to finish. I'm not done, but I want to finish. Amen. So Shane, when you're on fire for God, no matter how many fire they throw you in, the fire can't burn you. You know, you know why we, we, we get so caught up in our feelings when people say things? Because we're not in the spirit. And the more you're in the spirit, is the more fire you feel. Fire can't hold fire. Are you hearing me? Somebody say fire. Somebody shout fire. Listen, under the day of Pentecost, fire fell. Holy Ghost came with Holy Ghost and fire. Are you hearing me? Somebody. So when the fire is upon your life, when you are on fire for God, I'm telling you that no matter how many fire they throw you in, it won't burn you. 
You know why the three Igbo boys didn't get burned? Because when they throw fire into fire, I'm not hearing you, somebody. You can't throw fire in the fire, and I'm not hearing you, somebody. The three Hebrew, the three Hebrew boy, hallelujah, they have Jesus with them. They had God with them. Are you hearing me, somebody? I know what God is a consuming, and fire can't burn fire. Oh, are you hearing me, somebody? Are you hearing me, somebody? Hallelujah. Fire. Don't burn fire. So turn up the heat. Hallelujah. But when you're going, your flesh. When they came in the flesh, the men them who came close, the, the, those men were burned. Why? Because they were in the flesh. They didn't have the consuming fire with them. I'm not hearing you, somebody. Oh, my God Almighty. That's why you don't worry about the little trials that will come. Don't worry about the little tests that will come. My God Almighty, because you're going to be purified by fire. Are you hearing me, somebody, tonight? I stop by to tell somebody that you are able. Oh, God Almighty, tonight. So fire will not burn fire. It can't hold fire. Amen? Amen. So as a Christian, we must be on fire. Amen? Amen? You must be on fire. So when people come to you and speak in defeat to you and tell you, my dear sister, that, oh, I give you two months, you, you, you'll be gone. Say, so, no, no, you know what you have experienced. You have experienced fire. Say fire. Say fire. fire. Hallelujah. And when you experience the fire of God, it doesn't matter what somebody's going to say, it won't affect you because you already have the consuming fire and mm, you're not here with somebody. And it cannot do you nothing. You can't burn, you can't touch you because fire can't hold fire. So God said, David is a man after my own heart. David was not satisfied with the fact that the presence of God was not in Israel, being the king. But Saul was okay being a king and don't have the presence of God for 30 odd years. David take over. David said, mm -mm, we're going for it. Somebody said, 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 we're going for it. What, whatever means necessary for the power of God that we read in the Bible to be back in the church. Somebody said, we're going for it. My God, we are going for it. says you know he messed up the first time he was going he, he went and he built a new cart when he was going for it can I tell you something we can't bring home this thing in a new way oh lord you're not hearing me somebody I said he was trying it in a new way with a new cart Sometimes we're trying to bring back this glory of God in a new way. And God said, no, 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 no. There's a way to bring back the glory of God. Oh, God, you got to get into prayer. You've got to be in fasting. you got to stretch out before me. I'm not hearing you tonight, somebody. I've got to get hit the face. Take your face out of Facebook and lift your face up to heaven. I'm not hearing you, somebody. Lift up your heads. Oh, he gates uh, and be lift them up uh, the everlasting door uh, and the king of glory uh, shall come in uh, who is the king of glory the lord uh, strong and mighty uh, the lord uh, mighty in battle 
take your face out of Facebook and turn your face up to heaven. Everybody have them faced in a Facebook. Everybody have them faced in a, in a Instagram. Every, yeah? Fast book. Fast in people's business. And nobody has time for God to hear what God is saying. So every new wind of doctrine comes in. We, we are, we are, that's why Paul said, whole oh, foolish Galatian, who have bewitched you, my God, to turn from the truth. Oh, my God, I'm not hearing this somebody. Because everything looks like Christian. Hello? Hello? Everything looks like Christian. They who start bringing their dog to church and want them to be baptized. Hello? They come and want to marry them dog. I said, I'm a Christian. Dave is a liar. I'm just sick and tired. I'm, let us stand. I'm just sick and tired. But the, but the good thing about all of this is that David is desire was to bring the glory back into Israel. Amen. How satisfied are you without the glory of God? I'm not satisfied. Tonight, the same God who spoke to you and said it was not time for your husband to die It's the same God that speaks to you the other day and says, it's the same God that faith that you use to say, not yet. It's the same God that you can use your faith to for your daughter. Amen. And God said, I spoke to your heart about this thing. And you say to God, God, I have spoke and I've seen him. How am I speaking and it's not happening now? And God says, Dig deep. Marco Shatabahaya. Am I speaking the truth? Oh, I'm not asking. You, I'm telling you. But God said, dig. Somebody said, dig deep. Dig deep. Dig deep. Dig deep. Your cry was out of desperation. And God said, are you really desperate for a miracle? And if you're desperate for a miracle, I will show up. I'm not hearing this. Somebody. When you are desperate for a miracle, God will show up in your circumstances. Somebody say, I'm desperate. I'm desperate. I'm desperate. I'm desperate. For those that are online, God is saying, if you're desperate for a miracle, he said he will do it for you. I'm talking to somebody online. Jennifer, if you're desperate for a miracle, God will do it for you. If you're desperate, God will do it for you. How oh, desperate are you for a miracle? Somebody said desperate. I'm desperate. I am hungry for this thing. I think we, we play too much teeter toe in our church, man. Play games and think that God is just I will do a new thing in you. Oh, I will do a new thing in you. Whatever you ask for, whatever. You pray for nothing shall be 
59, say the Lord, I will do a new thing in you. Oh, I will do a new thing in you. Whatever you ask for, whatever you pray for, nothing shall be denied, said the Lord. Let's sing it one more time. Said, I will do a new thing in you. Oh, I will do a new thing in you. Whatever you ask for, whatever you pray for, nothing shall be denied. Ketosi Bahaya. Jesus. Touch her, God. From the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Increase her faith now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Touch her life. In the name of Jesus, grant her the desire of her heart now. In Jesus' name. Let it be so now, in Jesus' name. Come on, put your hands together. Give God a praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just want to thank those that are joining us tonight online for this Bible study. God bless you. God keep you. Let the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Father, we thank you for tonight. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your spirit. In the name of Jesus, let your anointing flow like it has never flown before in this house. Take us higher, God. Reveal unto us through your spirit. Draw us close to you. Oh God almighty. Mend the broken pieces. Of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those that are listening online. We pray tonight that you will touch. Each and every one. Everyone that is listening. Under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for those that have come from near and far. In the mighty name of Jesus, touch, Lord. Somebody say touch. Have your own way now. In Jesus' holy name we have prayed. Everybody say amen and Amen. God bless you tonight in Jesus' name. God bless you.